I downloaded a copy of this hinge from an online supplier website. It comes in as a single part with multiple bodies. Now I want to be able to work with those bodies, so I'll go to my tools options, and under feature manager, I'll set the solid body setting to automatic. This will put a new folder in my feature manager tree that allows me to see those individual bodies. I'll now right click on solid bodies and choose save bodies. This will let me save all of those bodies out as their own part file, and optionally I can even create a new assembly file that will put them all back together in place. You can assign names or we can just take the defaults here. Now once that saves, I'll switch over to the window menu and change windows to that newly created assembly file. And you can see that it's created an assembly with an external link to that original part file, indicated by the little arrows in the feature manager tree. Now the first thing we'll want to do is choose list external references and break the reference between all those newly created parts and the original downloaded part. We don't want that link. We want these to, to function independently. Next we will shift select all those in the newly created parts and choose make virtual. By doing so it will remove a link of those individual parts out to the SLD part PRT files on my hard drive. Now they'll be stored internally with the assembly and that's indicated by the brackets here. Now I can treat them just like regular part files and change the names so we've got all the, all the parts renamed. The advantage here now is that when we save this assembly, there will be a link only to the one assembly file. We won't have to keep track of all those individual parts. Let's add a new material, and then we'll just save. And it says we want to save internally within the assembly. And that's the important step. We no longer need those external part files. In fact, we can go back to Windows Explorer, and all those part files that were created from the save body operation can now just be deleted. So all we have in our directory is the original part file that we downloaded from the supplier and this one assembly file. The assembly file does not have any links to any external part files. And that's a great way of taking supplier content and using it as an assembly so that we can create all the mates that we need and so on, but still not require any extra links.